So Theme Candy got a few quality of life improvements. First is that it now lives in the view panel. Of course, you can still find it using the search menu, but I find this button right here to be a lot more convenient. The next improvement is that you can now change or save your presets right from within the panel, so you don't need to have the Blender preferences open. For example, I can just switch to the Armored Colony theme, I can change the color to be uh, pure white, and I'm going to save it and call it White Candy. So you can use capital letters and spaces, by the way. And there we have it. We can go back to any other theme at any point in time, and we can delete it. But I kind of like it right now, so I think I'm going <laughs> to keep it. There's also a couple of extra options in the add-on preferences. So first one, colorize UI sliders, is really useful if you're like me and you like using very bright UI colors. Because you'll notice right here, this slider, the text is not black like all of the other buttons. And that's because they don't count as selected until you click on them. So sliders are just weird in Blender. That has nothing to do with me. But you can now uncheck this and not have that problem anymore. So sliders stop being affected by any theme candy color you pick. The second option, Colorize Active Element, works like this. So whenever you make a selection, the last element you click on is the active element. And it shows a slightly different color, like white with some transparency. If you don't really like that, you can colorize the active element. This is how we had it before. It was hard coded. But now you can turn it off and go back to Blender default, which looks like this. Another little change, and not even sure if it's worth talking about, but we used to have a little toggle right here that said match UI. So we could match our selection color to our UI. So you can still do that, but I just switched it up so that any color that can be linked now has this little link icon. You can see right now it's broken, but if I click on this, and if I click on this, so it's just a, a slightly different way of linking your UI colors. That's pretty much it. Here's a little tip. So let's say I want to update this existing white candy preset. I forgot to save the gradient background it had. No problem. You don't have to delete it first or anything like that. Just set it up again exactly how you want it to be. Click the plus sign and give it the exact same name. And that will overwrite the previous version. So now whenever I switch to it, it will be updated with that gradient background. So if you already have theme candy, just download it again and you'll get all those little improvements. And if you don't, then still go get it because it's kind of cool. <laughs> And I'll see what I can do about customizing the outline and color as well. Because right now I didn't really want to touch it because there's a lot of colors going on in here. And I need to figure out some sensible defaults first. Okay, but.